would call this video woodworking woes. And uh, the reason being, my wife is uh, more than just a little bit upset. So let me show you what she's been working on. Um, she's been building this stand here. This is a fish tank stand. Uh, and she's going to put, uh, I think, a 20 gallon up top here and then uh, maybe another 20 gallon um, on the middle section. Then the bottom section will be just space for either filters or just to store books or whatever. Well, part of this, she's building her own doors to go on the bottom section. And uh, we've got, you know, the proper routers and everything to do our own raised panel doors. And that's what she's been working on. And so she's got the framework laid out. And all she had to do was build the raised panel portion. So she, uh, you know, got a bunch of one buys, select pine, and uh, she glued them up here. I mean, you can hardly tell looking at it. You can hardly even tell it was glued together, but the ends kind of give it away. Glued them all together, made them nice and square. We ran them through the planer. And then she set them up here on the router table today to uh, to cut out the groove that you need to do here to give the raised panel a look. Well, this end looks great. And this end looks okay, but maybe a little bit thicker. But in the middle, we had a problem. Oops, excuse me. Oh, in the middle, we had a problem. And that was that the groove was wrong here. Something about it was moving, and we couldn't figure out what. And so she kept making a pass, kept making a pass, experimenting, and all of a sudden the router jumped up and cut out this chunk. So as she was, you know, mid-pass, just like this, all of a sudden the router chuck just came up. And it moved up about a quarter of an inch, or if not more, and took, of course, this huge gouge out. Now, that basically ruined this workpiece. She can't reuse it because this would be right on the front of her door. Um, but it's okay, I mean, it's couple bucks to rebuild this but more frustrating because of the time the detail that went into it but what the reason I wanted to share this with you guys is because I wanted to show you what was happening at first we couldn't figure it out she thought maybe her you know feather boards weren't tight and that the board itself was floating or something was happening well, what actually happened is on this particular unit this is just a uh, generic sort of um, uh, router table and I've got my actual router bolted in or it's clamped inside of here there is a uh, compression piece I bet y'all can't see that um, right here hang on let me get some light okay so there's this clamp right here and what that allows you to do is if you flip it open you grab the edge back here and you flip it open that lets this whole router drop out just lets it fall out and what that allows you to do is, you know, you can, you can kind of, on a, on a large scale, um, you can set your router in place and set your height. And what happened was, for some reason, this was not tight. I mean, to my knowledge, I've never adjusted I've never loosened it. Um, but it has a, a tensioning screw in the backside, so you can make it tighter or looser if you want. And it was just loose. And so when we kicked on the, uh, the router here, and it got to spinning, you know, God, I don't even know how fast this thing spins. It's like 20,000 RPMs or whatever it is. It gets to spin and vibrate, and the whole router body right here slid upwards. The whole thing inside this clamp, the whole router moved up about a quarter inch. And that's really, it's really kind of scary because that means the whole router could have moved down. And so if you can just imagine this router just roaring at 20,000 RPMs, and all of a sudden the router falls out and hits this little worktop here, I mean, that thing would bounce around like a bouncing Betty, you know. There's no telling what sort of damage it could do. So I guess we're, we're really lucky that it decided to climb upwards. And, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe there's a safety catch or something that would keep it from falling out. I'm not sure. But anyway, like I said, I, I wanted to share this with you all because if you're doing woodworking and you're running the router table, just make darn sure that that clamp is tight. Because, um, you know, we set all this up and pushing on the router, everything felt solid. Everything felt like it was fine. And we've never had this happen before, so we had no reason to believe it would happen again. Um, but it happened. So the bad part about it again is that she's going to have to rebuild that workpiece. Um, it's a couple bucks, but it's going to take her probably you know, an hour or more to get it all put back together and playing back down and everything else. So that's the real shame in it. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to share this so that if y'all are doing woodworking and you're uh, messing around with routers, router tables, you know, like usual, I want you all to learn from my mistakes so you don't make the same. So, hope this helps.